Welcome to Computer Tech TV, it's Rick Arter here once again, and this is video one in a series on my new computer build, which is going to be an AMD bulldozer based computer, and this is mainly going to be used to play the new uh, Elder Scrolls uh, Skyrim when it comes out in November. However, it is not November yet, so until then I'll probably be playing Oblivion, because that is my favorite computer game. And other uses for this computer will be, of course, um, different stuff on the web. I spend a lot of time on the internet, you know, doing my YouTube stuff. Um, I do a few other things online. And uh, basically, uh, I'll be using this for a little bit of gaming, uh, benchmarking, and overclocking, of course, since I am a big overclocking enthusiast. And as you can see here, you guys all know I got the half nine twelve and it's kind of a mess right now because I just pulled all my old hardware out of there. We're going to do a complete uh, cable management job on there, best that I can do. And as far as uh, any kind of mods to the case, I'm really not going to do any at the moment. I'm really not too worried about it. This case has great airflow, great cable management. Eventually I'm going to go with the black and orange theme. I will be changing out some fans later on down the line, but right now I'm more worried about getting all the hardware set up. And you can see here we got a Gigabyte 990 FXA UD5 motherboard that's going to be the basis around this new build. And for a temporary CPU we have a Phenom 2 X2 555 and I'm going to overclock the heck out of that. And we got 4 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 CL9 Kingston HyperX memory. That's temporary as well. I'll be buying uh, 8 gigabytes more, which I'm not sure if I'll end up getting rid of this 4 gigabyte kit or I'll just have 12 gigabytes all together. Kind of overkill, but this build's going to last me quite a while. Uh, for the cooler, we're going to use the Archon. Be using the stock uh, TY140 fans for now, and then I'll be upgrading to some different fans here because I'm going for a black and orange theme. At least that's what I'm thinking I'm going to go for because I really think the black and orange looks nice. So eventually we'll be painting the inside of the case black with some orange accents. But like I said, that'll be further down the line. I'm not going to make any promises for when I'll be doing that because i got a lot of stuff going on. And then we have our... Uh, just our X760 power supply, which I already have installed there. As you can see, it's got a few cables there, 24 pin stuff like that and then I got the rest of the cables up here Silverstone case fan which will probably go in the back for now got some hard drives sitting here this is a uh, one terabyte Western Digital and as far as storage and everything goes I'll probably buy a another one terabyte drive because the ones I have are pretty much full and I'd like to get an SSD but more than likely I'll just go with a, a Caviar Black uh, Western Digital 1 terabyte um, SATA 3 drive and then we'll use that for Windows 7 which uh, basically what I need to buy still to complete this will be the bulldozer chip when it comes out here in November or October I should say I'm sorry and um, the OS drive right now I'm just going to use a Seagate Barracuda 250 gig drive and I'm going to put Windows Vista on there just to get it all up and going, do some stability tests and everything, make sure everything's okay. And uh, I'm going to be buying a copy of Windows 7 Professional X64 bit. I just don't have the cash for it right now. And uh, as far as the bulldozer CPU I'm going to buy, I'm hopefully going to get enough money together to get uh, one of the 8 core CPUs. Depending on what the price is going to be, I've heard they're going to be in the low to mid 300s for the 8120 and the 8150. But if things don't work out right, I'll probably go with like a 6100 series 6 core. Because, like I said, the fastest uh, most cores I've ever run is uh, a dual core CPU. So even just a quad core would be a, a big step up from what I'm used to running. So that is the intro there, guys. So lots more to come. I'm going to take out these parts here, get them all uh, tested out and everything, hook it all up, do some cable management, and I'll probably do a overview on this motherboard, so if you guys are interested to see that, stay tuned. And then I'll make some more videos when I'm doing cable management. I know there's, uh, I've had a few people asking me about cable management. I know a guy I work with was asking me uh, 
how you do good cable management and everything, so I might do a video on that. But I guess we'll just have to see what happens depending on what time I have. So if you guys have any questions or any suggestions or anything for me, let me know. And uh, that about wraps it up, guys. You guys all have a great day. Lots more videos to come.